The Untold Truth Behind President Cleveland's Halpin Scandal Did you know that Cleveland was the only U.S. president who served two non-consecutive terms? And also, he was the first and last to marry in the White House. But aside from that, have you heard that he almost lost his first presidential campaign due to a scandal? And yes, he had done something horrifying, both as a human and a man, just to deal with it. We'll talk more about it at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's begin. At a young age, Grover Cleveland lost his father. Thus, he had to stop attending school and instead had to work just to support his family. Despite all that, Cleveland still managed to have some small success as he became a clerk in a law firm through the help of his uncle. There, he was allowed to study law as he worked and Cleveland took that opportunity. And after some time, even if he did not complete his early education, he still passed the New York bar. So Cleveland became a law practitioner, and that also marked the start of his political career. Eventually, Cleveland was elected as mayor, and he became known for exposing and getting rid of some deeply rooted corruption on the city's municipal services. So many were impressed by his achievements, and Cleveland was soon elected as a governor. There he used the same style of governance, and his dedication prevailed as his piling achievements attracted the support of many. And he was just shy away from the presidency. However, there's something that Cleveland was left to do. He got to remove some loose ends. Winding the clock before the presidential election, a 38-year-old widow named Maria Halpin had captivated Cleveland since he first laid eyes upon her. Though Halpin barely acknowledged the governor, in direct contrast, Cleveland's interest in her had reached near obsession. So Cleveland, despite many refusals, eventually persuaded Halpin into dinner. And after that evening, their lives were about to change. Going back in the election, the Democratic Party believed that over the 30 years of the Republicans' presidency, the U.S. development had stalled and corruption had started to rot the government inside out. With that, Cleveland, who's got a solid, clean reputation, was like a perfect knight in shining armor for the Democratic Party. And so, they fully supported his campaign, which went quite smoothly. However, it was only until a shocking scandal was heard saying that Cleveland had fathered an illegitimate child. Eventually, it caused a massive stir among undecided voters, and Cleveland had to do something. With this campaign attack phrase against Cleveland, Ma! Ma! Where's my pa? He was left with no choice but to make a statement that he had already paid support for the child. However, behind that, his associates were doing malicious slanders to Halpin, that she was immoral and had affairs with many other men, asserting that her child can't be verified as Cleveland's. At that time, the scandal had escalated, and Cleveland was accused as a rapist who, after impregnating Halpin, had even conspired with a friend to have a child taken from his mother while Halpin was sent to an asylum. Despite all that, Cleveland managed to win the election with just a quarter of a percent and this depicted the sad truth, how the voice of a woman, as a victim of such a horrendous assault, couldn't triumph against the words of a powerful man. You've discovered an amazing story about President Cleveland's scandal. Now click this and discover the next amazing story.